Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Throwing here, Purdy. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw, Purdy. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. McCaffrey running up the middle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled him with the inside run. And he is going to have a Niners first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and inches, and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And partner, you know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to call a guy like this a workhorse, except he carried the ball all the time. Now they get it to him a variety of ways, but you're right, they want to run their offense through him. This duo locked in, 14 yards there, and a first down. Purdy sets up to throw again. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense is getting And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Isaiah Rodgers. One back into the end zone, and the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. 
So just a tremendous play there defensively on his opening drive, not just to make the interception, but to take it all the way home. And it felt like this was a defense that was on its heels a bit to start this thing off. Yeah, they pretty much let the other guys march right down the field until that moment. Yeah, key play there. Turned it all around. Big moment. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And you wonder, I mean, is it even possible, especially for the quarterback, to mentally reset after that quick of a turnaround? But well, we're certainly going to find out, aren't we? Because that play will stay in your mind, but somehow you have to compartmentalize. Put it aside, pick yourself up, and get moving in the right direction. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. First down, it's Purdy. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have, have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. On third down, it's Purdy. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Here's Purdy. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And the 49ers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Moody good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter.
Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. On the handoff, this is Swift. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were. And you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. From the 34-yard line, here's a second and eight. Here's Hurts to throw. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Javon Hargrave, the D-tackle, getting the sack. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. They need 18 yards here on third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Back to return it, Christian McCaffrey. So call that a 56-yard punt with a return of about 11. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. They'll drop it off to McCaffrey. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Purdy looking to throw. This is Jennings. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. First down San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. Of course the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Throw left side complete. That's Jennings. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Now second and five. Purdy. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey and he'll get it down here to the 43. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Purdy will look to throw again here. That is caught. And he gets his down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, 
and find the first down. And that's what he just did. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And that's going to be incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Purdy now to throw. This pass to Jennings, and he makes the catch. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Throw out left, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Evans. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new short of ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Right back to Swift again on second down. And only a couple there up to about the 23-yard line. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Third and four. Hurt sets up to throw it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Hurts. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Nick Bosa able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. He said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Diamondo Lenore. And the 49ers are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. 
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles' defense gets a pick six TD. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the um, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did. It came through with a big-time pick six. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score 14-7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see that when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and then finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Shotgun now with Purdy. And that one into the hands of IU downfield. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Back to throw, Purdy. And he will find his man, Samuel. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. He'll get this to Jennings over the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. And now they're in the hurry up. Here's Purdy on first and ten. And that is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second down, Purdy. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Right. 
Here's Purdy now on third and goal. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Beautiful throw right there on third down, and it looked like this was going to be six points, but a nice touchdown saving tackle at the end of this. Even still, this offense is knocking on the door now with a first and goal at the one. Back now at FedEx Field. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to... And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Brock Purdy scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the 49ers are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, coming a time in this fourth quarter to try and grab that lead back. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. So in any event, the extra speed. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Diamondo Lenore. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Pitching it out to McCaffrey. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Tied in across the formation left. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, but now it'll be third down. Here's Purdy. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. 
They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And he'll be out right at the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. From the gun, it's Hurts. Dancing to his left. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And next time, Brandon, I think you might want to consider running it because those defensive backs, they were plastered to the receivers, and they weren't letting up as that play went on. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Throwing his hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. Five yards, now it's third and five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. This is Swift on the counter. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. They'll stay on the ground with Swift, and he'll be taken down at the 34. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. They'll come up now, second and nine. Back to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And the Niners have just about sewn up this football game. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done Challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers. Anyone who's going to lay down a block, don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts 
As they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here is third down and four. They'll run again. And he will have a Niners first down. And that ought to be the one that seals the victory. It's a pickup of five, and that should just about wrap this one up. First down. First and ten at the 42 yard line. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to make it a two-score game. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that will extend their lead even further. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, I mean, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but, boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. So the victory here for San Francisco, and it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but bottom line, they got the job done. Yeah, it is the bottom line, isn't it? A few anxious moments along the way, though, a few sweaty palms, not just for the team, but for their fans. As you mentioned, down going into the fourth quarter. How about the rally? How about the comeback? Getting it done on both sides of the ball, holding them when they needed to, and finding ways to get points when they had the football. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Washington, thanks for watching, and good night, everybody.